breakout does not show the uh, jungler yet so Fobo actually decided to actually ban out a Mura. Well Baldum, I mean a Muxman ban would make sense. This Fobo team does not have a Muxman yet, so um we have seen a lot of violet. We have seen twice a violet just now and there goes another violet ban. Another violet violet ban from breakout. There's a Yena. I'm not so sure if they, they really wanted to ban a Yena. While Breakout doesn't really have a mage yet, does not have a mage yet so far. I think it shouldn't make use of that bans onto any of the mage heroes. Um, Tulin and Liliana ban make some sense. But onto that as well, Fobo does not show their marksman yet as well. And um, they did not show their squishy so... Let's see what is going to what's going to happen here. A Zephyr's ban. I'm not so sure why they actually ban out a Zephyr's. There is two jungle heroes has been taken down by Fobo team right here while Natsu is going to ban for the last pick. Is it going to be another marksman ban or mage ban? Liliana makes some sense, but they probably going to decide onto a Caffany, another marksman ban. So they are releasing every other mages except for Tulin. And finally, a Caffany ban, which is still OP to be honest. Although not as much as how Caffany. Not as much as how when Caffany first being uh being introduced and they are first being released and finally Preta. This is the very first time we see Preta throughout the league right here in FSL Circuit Arena of Valor Vietnam. While Sunny Off and Wanted Me is going to reply with not so sure what, but Rush works as well against the Preta in the mid lane. A jungler for team. I'm not so sure if if FSL allows Enzo being played. Enzo is one of the one of the latest release through the game right here, and um, Liliana to be the mage while Enzo is going to play in the jungle. Enzo has been picked right here by me and Liliana by Sunny Off and finally Marksman pick is what Fobo team needs and that's a whips. Which definitely is not so bad. Whips does have little bit amount of uh, mobility while still be able to to fork out as much as damage as she can from afar so whips going to be a nice addition into the into the lineup and Preta can actually protect whips from uh, from being burst out from being burst out by Enzo as well as Amelie though Amelie has the ability to burst to burst the heroes out. Although being played as the uh, although being played as the dog slayer lane, Emily can be really dangerous to the enemy team. And finally, just look at the beautiful face of my friend Sinarki Ka. <laughs> Casting for the Vietnamese. While well, uh, we are still feeding all from the YouTube live feed right now, we hopefully can actually uh, stream properly by tomorrow when we actually have our own uh, our own account for Lian Quan server. The 3.0 updates, <laughs> the 3.0 update that that did this to us. 
which we were unable to which we were unable to actually stream just as nicely anyway I'm definitely sure that that both team are actually loading for now and we are going to go right into the game anytime soon just in 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 in, in a few minutes um, I'm sorry just in a few seconds a few seconds more before we get into the game right here and here we go ladies and gentlemen breakout versus Fobo team and that is Enzo in black anyway breakout going to march into the middle lane just again right there and Fobo team is doing just the same this is best of one ladies and gentlemen breakout versus Fobo Kachua zone but Sonny off inside the bush right here Kachua well, not so in the very middle lane. Sunny off is going in. There's nothing much can be done right here. Both of them is playing the game as safely as they can. And here's Natsu in the mid lane while Sunny off is roaming around providing visions toward his teammates. But although nothing much going on, even in the top lane, we can see Amelie and Richter is not picking off each other, which is a jungle strike coming from Nunkyun. But Pikamiao is still very much steadily alive, peaceful against Sunnyoff. While well, Enzo is continually uh, farming, but that is peaceful. We have an Annette encountering Baldom onto the bottom lane of the map. But uh, Anmoy is still farming as much as I can. And not so much is happening until now. This is almost two minutes into the game. Spirit Sentinel being taken down by Andrew. It almost got resetted. But something is happening in the mid lane right here. And Enzo managed to take Peaceful right there. He has the change. But Andrew is the first going to go down. But he's managed to actually flick it away for, for safety right there. Andrew. And Enzo is looking for another victim right here. Cindy is the one being chained. But he's unable to actually pull out Cindy. The first episode Dragon being contested right here. But Kachua wouldn't be able to do much won't be able to do anything by herself alone and she flickered away before the situation went south another chain coming out from me Enzo recently released which is one of the versatile heroes I've ever seen I mean Enzo can actually be played in mid lane, being played in the dark side lane, and of course being played, able to be able to play in the jungle, as how Breakout is doing right here. Pika Meow being harassed by Richter constantly from the jungle strike, and now Richter is free to actually roam to the mid lane. But a group up, we can see in the bottom lane right there. Three players from Breakout waiting to engage. Kachua actually did caught Sunny off in the bush. Sanmoy, the star fall, but does not connect onto whips. Sunny off is all alone again. Enzo is already in the bottom lane, probably eyeing for an opportunity here. And Moy is going to be in trouble. First blood goes to Andrew right here. Sunny off is going to be next. Nunkyun is a little bit far off. Natsu trying to do anything that she can, but it is not possible to go away. Sunny off will go down just like that. A trade to four team members of Breakout went down from a single team fight coming from Fobo team. 
What a nice move coming out. Nunkyun coming in on to Pika Miao. No jungle strike though. Peaceful coming in into the middle lane and they go back onto their respective lane. Nice lead done from Fobo team on to breakout. What a gameplay. Danny off again in the mid lane here. Kachua zone. And so, wouldn't be able to do much right here. Another ultimate pops out from Nunkyun, played by Richter here. Pika Miao goes after him. That slow though does not hit onto Richter. But Kritnek as well has no more targets after that. Danny off. Richter is roaming just as actively as he can. I mean, Pika Miao is giving too much chances for Richter. Natsu, a little bit more could be fatal for Natsu right there. Cindy being thrown back, to being thrown to the back by Baldum, protecting his teammates right there. Richter is going to clear, and this tier one tower will go down. Already went down, and so wouldn't be able to do much right there. Watching. That tier 1 tower being melted down by Fobo team just now and Rita is cutting the minions right here and sensing that danger he tried to run away peaceful coming in trying to crowd control but Rita went down first peaceful is going to be next right here Pikami managed to slow down peaceful and peaceful being taken down by Anmore just like that a fruitful chase just now and Kachua zone in the chain right here Enzo goes in Kachua Unable to run anyway after being chained by Enzo. Especially when Enzo already hit it with an ultimate. Here Andrew comes in. That war prison from Sunny off. Making sure that she's making sure that she's able to get away freely before anything goes down for breakout. Pika Miao getting back onto her lane. But Richter on the other hand. There is help coming in. There is going to be a dive. But they actually sense Natsu coming in. So Kriknet cancelled that dive. Came out all alone. And that's a kill onto Cindy. Coming out from Telanas. And the second episode dragon. For breakout right here, Kachua zone is a little bit late to actually help waves around, but Andrew, I thought Andrew is going to start a team fight right there with Richter already have a jungle strike. He's coming in, but Richter does not reach onto Liliana just now. He's going back under the tower for protection right here. Andrew is a little bit late though, does not pop out the ultimate yet. Sunny off saw so Andrew, but Kachua zone is also there to provide support if needed. Peaceful, almost being hooked by Wanted Me. Contested at Seagull, but the Seagull managed to be secured by breakouts. And this is Enzo again. 4 to 4, it's a tie right now. Less than nine minutes, less than nine minutes. Kachua zone is coming in. That's an ultimate. Pops out. P Kamiao. Nunkun comes in with an ultimate right there. Managed to take down some one at least. Natsu comes a little bit late. Unable to actually save it, that teammate of hers. But Kriknek flanking from behind. Making sure that Enzo wouldn't be able to run away at all. Sunny off trying to warp prison a Kriknek. But Kriknek did manage to run away. Dark Slayer. Two minutes into the Dark Slayer spawn on the battlefield, and Fobo is already trying to take down the Dark Slayer. 8,000 HP left for the Dark Slayer while Peaceful actually zoning out, but Whips is all alone and unable to do much. Nunkoind! 
that Flicker save him? Again, peaceful. Another engagement coming out from Enzo. That chain went and so long that it disconnected. This wanted me again. Andrew grouping up right here by Fobo team. Four players up. Episode Dragon being contested. Enzo coming in, but the dog say, I'm sorry, the Episode Dragon goes for Fobo team. But Natsu comes in being and being a Liliana, she doesn't send much chances. Enzo did take down one of the Fobo team members right here. Sunny off. Doesn't really have much health left. A poke coming out from Peaceful. Almost taking down Sunny off. But look at that Richter all alone trying to solo push onto the top lane. But he probably going to decide to win back but nobody is there. He actually can try to take down that high ground tower all alone right here. But Emily is already there trying to fan off but won't be able to actually defend that high ground tower. As Richter finally managed to make that trade. Oh Richter. Almost getting caught. Amelie and Baldum. But Cindy goes for the Dark Slayer again. Nobody is zoning. Nobody is zoning for them. But the Dark Slayer, by the way, went for Andrew. The Drake is in her disposal. This is one more as well. Sunny off. 6 to 7. But that's a hole on the top lane. There's no high ground to defend. The top lane is free. But Andrew comes in. They're probably g trying to pressure up the mid lane though, but breakout is grouping. Trying to defend those tier 2 towers. That is what left. Five Towers has been successfully taken down by Fobo team. Drake has been summoned onto the bottom lane. Well, they are going for the third Absol Dragon right here. Drake is going to be fan off. Out. And again, Richter is going to try to <coughs> but Richter is trying to, to go in into the base, but did not happen. Sunny off with a warp reason just now, but an ultimate coming out from Kachua zone saved Cindy from the trouble just now. And Kachua being stunned. No follow up coming from breakout. Trying to trying to pressure that lane. But it's unlikely to success. For now as they don't have as they don't have a net to actually support. Okay, stun coming out from Telanas, but Telanas is so ambitious going inside that tower, going under the tower. And she went down just like that because of the tower. Andrew right here played as a great neck. Enzo trying to run away. Andrew comes in. The jump from that ultimate. Takes down Enzo. Nunkuin again. Alone trying to push that core. This fool comes in. Trying to push away with that bombs. This fool all alone though. Praetor in the late game is so so scary. Year 2 went down in the mid lane. High ground is what left. And Richter is doing so well. Solo pushing, split pushing for Fobo team right here. They are 4,000 goals ahead. 
almost 15 minutes into the game. Another Dark Slayer for Fobo. While Richter is zoning, giving them all the visions they need. Andrew joins the party, and another Dark Slayer for them. Drake is in Whip's possessions. And so that engagement, Cindy is in trouble, but Cindy still alive. Has the Drake right here, peaceful comes in. But sadly, nothing much is happening here. Cindy's trying to run away. Praetor, though. Peaceful is coming from behind just now. Whips is going to go back, recalling back to the base. But he's already, she's already almost full health, though. Must be coming from those life-stealing items. And from Cindy. It does connect here. Sunny off. That kill though, Nunkyun with that ultimate, managed to take down Telena, Sunny Off is going to be next, being picked by Richter right here, Sunny Off, that war prison, again, save himself. The Drake being summoned in the mid lane, and it is coming in just again, 9 to 11, almost 16 minutes into the game. What can Breakout do as of now? That Abyssal Dragon though, sadly. That was an enraged Abyssal Dragon that they pulled out, actually reset it when when it gets out from its radius actually. The Drake, this is quite a wasteful summon right here. They did not make use they did not utilize the Drake fully. Fobo team is currently dominating all the resources for breakout. Good wave management so far. Probably be able to actually treasure both lane mid and bottom. Here comes Fobo. And so pushing in Nunkyun and Sunny Off is going to go next Nunkyun though. Still went away with that ultimate though, he comes back alive. Resurrected, Pika Meow is going to be the next victim in the least. Anmoy just as well, Natsu is all alone alive. And Peaceful trying to dive just now, they don't really have the minion. But they do have some amount of minion onto the top lane. And they're probably going to try to push the core right here. Natsu almost been taken down, that ultimate instantly killed Natsu. Obo finally able to take down that game. It went slow until until the mid game, until the mid game though. But the key <laughs> but the key player for the for the game should be given to Freita. Freita did really Freita did really nicely to be honest. Five two seven coming out from Preta, all the scrub control from Preta, making sure that that her teammate is all alive and it just as well did the same thing roaming around giving vision towards her teammate happening nicely and we will still have another we will still have another game coming up later and until then we will see you